Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. This is Charmaine Brown, and I am blessed to be here with you. Uh, we are live. I thought we were live before I started talking. Anyways, um, this is Impact Gospel Radio, and we are doing our program, Mental Health, a, a holistic impact where we impact other person's life in the community. Um, you might be wondering what this program is about, and I will tell you in a little while. So a little bit about um, the Impact Gospel Radio. But let me introduce myself. I am Charmaine Brown, and I am blessed to be here with you this evening. We are going to rock. We are going to roll. We are going to talk about some some issues. We're going to talk about a little bit about Raymond, and then we're going to go into um, another a season two, episode one of the same thing. I want to talk a little bit about Impact Gospel Radio. So Impact Gospel Radio come into play a few years ago where there was impact prior, a prior system that was in place. And it was a prayer system, an international prayer system, where people from all over the world that was not doing that great would link up at a certain time and they would pray and sing and cheer and get the mental health, um, the mental health of those who were in the group heightened, get them back on track. Um, it provides positivity and allow them to find resources in their community. The, um, the, the owner, Dr. Clifton Rotti, had put a lot of resources in place for people in the communities to utilize and um, information where they can get additional help. And so Impact Gospel Radio is a very influential radio that I come on. Every Monday at 6.30 Central Daytime, 7.30 Eastern Daytime. And so my, my program that I do here is I'll have a holistic impact. The program, you might be wondering what I do with this program. So this is a broadcast to help our mental health status. But what we do, we look at our lives and see how we relate to others. We compare our developmental stage with others' developmental stage and see state and see how we are functioning in society and if we need a little bit of help mentally. Because there are issues that we face in our everyday life. We face issues, we face issues at work, we face issues in the community, we face issues in the church, we face issues everywhere we go, we can face issues. Everywhere and with people that we communicate with or converse with can cause us a little bit of stress, as well as it can cause us positive energy and vibes. And so because of that issue, this platform will help us to explore how to manage our stress in an effective way where we don't curse ourselves out when we are having problems. Some persons having problems and they start telling themselves that they are no good. They start looking at themselves in the mirror and disrespecting, them, disrespecting themselves, saying, I am no good. Who am I? Why did I do that? I am not, I'm ashamed of myself. Things like that, that you tell yourself when there's a mistake. People make mistakes all the time. And if we're going to abuse ourselves when we make mistakes, can you imagine what we're going to do to other people when they make mistakes? We're going to do worse to them. Because if we cannot love ourselves, we're not able to love other people. And so this program helps us to look at our feelings, our behavior, and our actions towards ourselves, towards others in the our family members, and people worldwide. And so with that said, I talk about mental health issues like anxiety, depression, anger. We look at 
definition. We look at signs and symptoms and we look at how these things would affect us and how we can identify when they are affecting our, our lives and see how we can use our coping mechanism and our coping skills and strategies to see how best to help ourselves and the people are around and the people around us. And so as a licensed certified psychotherapist, I am here with my experiences, my stories, with the Raymond family saga where I depict a normal family in society and their problems and how we relate to them and how we would fix the problem we see that they are having in an effective way so we can be effective in our lives and the lives of others. So with that said, I am going to recap what happened in the Raymond family saga. We were on Raymond and the Raymond dilemma. Just going to recap a little bit. And then we're going to look at belonging and acceptance. Okay. So Dr. White came to Raymond after Raymond was having seizures in the hospital. He was not doing well in his community. He's not doing well at home. Karen is there trying to help and trying to be a, a, a sense of support. But Raymond is not talking, versing what is actually happening to him. And so Karen cannot help him. He's not, he, he tells the doctor a little bit of what's happening at home, but the doctor cannot help him unless he wants that help. The doctor gave him information, resources, and how to get mental health help in the community. He took the information and he said he's going to try to help himself. And if not, he will see if he needs further assistance from a um, practitioner, a licensed practitioner. So when Dr. White finished, he said, thank you, doctor. I appreciate you. These, these news and medical update caused Raymond to feel distraught. Raymond has a lot to think about and things to implement so that he can rebuild his health so when you're going through an, a situation you have to you have to stay back you have to be in a, in a in a place and a space where you are where you are where you can analyze yourself you look into your life you're not going to look into the life of other people even if other people cause what is happening to you for instance you are driving, you're met in an accident, not your fault, someone else's fault. You you might blame that person, but are we going to blame that person that our lives are not more on track? No. We are going to look at our lives and see how best we can fit, fit skills, strategies, implement things into our life to make our life better so we can deal with the accident that we face. And so we are going to focus on ourselves. We need a space and a place where we put ourselves into an area of relaxation, of thought, our thought processes, where we are reflecting on what happened and how can we help ourselves. So that's what Raymond needs to do. He needs to find himself in a place where he built his health. Raymond feels that he did not belong anywhere. And remember, Raymond is a mulatto person. He's not totally white. He's not totally black. And so he did not feel like he belonged anywhere. He did not know who to tell his troubles. He wishes someone cares enough to accept him as is with illnesses and all. Some of us are fortunate enough to have people in our lives that will accept us sickness and all and we should give thanks and we should appreciate those people we should appreciate them we should tell them all the time how much we appreciate them and 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 show show it not only say it because sometimes you say things and you don't show it actions speak louder than words i see where we have to go um and a break and so when we come back we're going to look at belonging and acceptance what it is signs and symptoms and how we can put things into place for us to feel loved and belonged we'll take a break
welcome back welcome back i am charmaine and i am blessed to be here with you today this is impact gospel radio and we are on mental health a holistic impact and so this is where we try to ensure that our mental health is going strong we have the resources the skill to ensure that we are able to be functional in society where we can help other people be functional okay so last week i was saying that there were um some friends and some folks that were very supportive loving caring and i wanted to big up these people but i had to get their their go ahead i had to get their consent i am going to big up some people here today I'm not going to call any last name some of these persons work in some prominent hospital here in the city of Winnipeg, and some are family and friends. So I'm going to big up some people. I'm going to take the time to tell these people that I appreciate them, I love them, and their care and affection has my heart in such a way that I hide their care and empathy in my heart and will keep it there and keep it safe there. So I want to big up Tracy. I want to pick up Kira. I want to big up Rui, Zach, Don, John, Amoy, Kershina, Donna, Alicia, Jacob, Yusha, Shamar, Doreen, Mark, Andrew, and Andrea. And there's lots of Andrea, but Andrea knows herself. She knows herself. And so the reason why I want to big up these, these people are a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, um, I got into um, some issues were going on with me. And if it was me alone, I love myself, people, and I take care of myself. But there are some systems that are in place that I would rather not go through to take care of myself. I, I think I can do an effective job taking care of myself at home compared to going through a certain system. And I was not doing that great. And some of these persons, they were compassionate. They take me to a certain certain places, get me the help I need, check up on me, came and do a lot of great things for me, people. A lot of great things. I can't even go into details. They were so supportive. Oh, my God, I miss a name. And Oma and michael oh my god and i almost miss these many people because these people i'm sorry you're all appreciated i love you and i'm going to go straight into love and belonging now so that you know what when you have supportive system it makes a big big difference a big difference it's like when i when i I work with it and I see them having a supportive system. They heal faster. They are discharged quicker because it allows them to feel positive. It motivates them to do things, right? And so with Impact Gospel Radio, mental health or um, mental health, a holistic impact, we come together and we provide those resources for everyone. I am viewing my host please post your question here this is mental health and i am also looking at my phone here there is mentalhealthhorizon.com you can email us at info at mentalhealthhorizon.com you can go to impact gospel radio and put your question there as well and we have a private chat um dr clifton rott is in the house the producer is in the house and soft is in the house and you heard her barking there before so why was raymond the lack of belonging and a lack of acceptance raymond sense of belonging was was altered because of fear of isolation from friends and social groups remember he didn't have so much friends he just had two friends sam and someone else um he did not have a social group he only go home to we go to work and come back home to karen i don't know about him 
having a social group know the story very well he has a fear of not meeting his obligation to karen expressing himself to karen has decreased over the past months because he probably don't want karen to feel stressed or don't want karen to take up his problem most people are like that mother might feel like that parents might feel like that compared um when they have a child they might be having problems but they don't want to tell their kids what's going on because they don't want these kids to worry there are people like that there are people who are very independent who keep their problem to themselves and even when somebody said can i help you they don't want that help they figure out that they can do it themselves i learned years ago that when you get help take the help because you might need help and can't get help a friend of mine that died years ago taught me that over 20 years and so when someone when you're going through a hard time and somebody asks you can i help if you need help take the help do not let pride do not let um culture affect the help that you might get okay so he was not feeling like he was fit he fit into society due to his skin color a lack of lacking a sense of belonging can be problematic if you feel like you don't belong nowhere you're gonna act like you don't belong nowhere and we know what people how people act when they don't belong nowhere they can be very disrespectful they can be very hurtful they can be very dangerous in the sense that they will hurt themselves and hurt others because they don't have a sense of compassion because they don't belong anywhere they feel like they're anywhere and that's a very dangerous place to be when you feel like you don't belong anywhere and there's a lot of us who feel like we don't belong anywhere especially people who are coming from a different country into another country to rebuild and restart their lives we feel like we can't tell anyone anything. We feel like we can't socialize with anyone because we our, and our sense of trust, our sense of trust is not intact. And so we don't trust anybody to tell them anything. If they ask us, do you have kids? You don't want to tell them if you have kids. If, you ask them, if they ask you how old are your children, because they know you have children you don't want to tell them how old your children are if you if they ask you what work you do you don't want to tell them what work. you don't trust these people and because you don't trust these people you don't want to talk to these people and so you feel like you don't belong those persons are trying to build a social a social path so that you can communicate and build the trust but what are we going to do if we don't trust persons are we just have to build that trust so it can be problematic i see where we have to take another break and come back to finish up this time is going people so almost 20 minutes we are here already we're gonna take a break and come back and continue our sense of belonging impact impact Impact. Impact. Welcome back, everyone. I am Charmaine Brown, and I am blessed to be here with you today.
This is Impact Gospel Radio. This is, and the program is Mental Health, a holistic impact where we try to provide you with information, researched, based information, where we provide you with experiences and stories and see how our lives co um, connect with other person's life and what we can do to make our lives better for ourselves, our kids, our family members, our friends in society and a whole. You are on Impact Gospel Radio. This radio station have a lot of resources. It's a radio station that is implemented in the community to help with priors and law, um, health, social services, name it, we have it here. Impact, I mean, mental health, holistic impact, where we have a system in place. We have a company, mentalhealthhorizon.com, where you can send us email to info at mental mentalhealthhorizon.com you can book an appointment we do assessment we do a physical assessment um, from a nurse's perspective and we try to help you with your mental health issues as best as we i am looking you can do your comment i am checking the comment box i am also checking the phone the in the internet i mean the emails and the producer and uh, um, Brother Clifton, Dr. Clifton Rutt is also on top of it as well. We we're talking about how not having a sense of belonging can become problematic. A sense of belonging is vital because it involves family, community, and organization. So when you have a sense of belonging, everything is compact. You have a sense of belonging in the family, in the community, and other organization that they put in place for us, like the healthcare system. And, and stuff like that. And so it's very important. We cannot separate our sense of belonging from our physical or our mental health. And that's from Mayo Clinic 2021. So a sense of belonging, what it is saying is that a sense of belonging allow us to be, to have an overall health status where we are in sync mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, financially, all the allies, all the allies, we are in sync. And so that is very important. This means if your physical health is inadequate, then it is difficult for persons, difficult to be with persons you love. If you're not feeling a sense of belonging, you cannot love people who say they love you. You cannot say you love persons who you don't belong to or you don't feel close to. A sense of belonging gives you that closeness where you can empathize with persons when they are not feeling well. If you don't have a sense of belonging, it can affect it affects your mental health status. You go into the community and you see somebody that is not feeling well and because you don't have that sense of belonging, you don't care about this person. You just walk by like it's, nothing is wrong. When you have a sense of belonging, a sense of care, caringness, kindness, compassion, you will not see someone in the, in the community feeling unwell and just pass like it's nothing. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you something that I realized when I came to Canada to live. Being from a, a different cultural background, being a Jamaican, those communities in Jamaica, they are very close knitted. And so it is it is not within our psyche for us to pass someone on the road or someone not feeling well even or anywhere and just park here. It doesn't happen like that. They, our parents do not teach us that. And so the, 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 the education that we get there is to always care and ensure that we care because if we pass that person and that person we didn't say hi or anything and that person go to our parents then we are in trouble the discipline is going to be in place for us and so with that i'm having a feedback and so with that what will happen is that we don't have a sense of belonging we won't care for people in the community we don't have a sense of belonging we won't 
coming into this country was different. I went into, I was in Toronto and because I lived there for a while and I went into the elevator and me coming from a country where we say hi to everybody. <laughs> I went into the elevator and the elevator were coming from the apartment building. I went into the elevator going down and the elevator was full of people. And me with my stupid self, not knowing that these, uh, that the culture here was different and is different, say, hello, good morning, everyone. And, and you know, when you say hello and persons don't answer, you think the people didn't hear. I turned around in the, in the elevator and said, hello, everyone, good morning. <laughs> because I actually thought they didn't hear me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it, it, it's, it is funny. It's still, I still get a laugh out of it. They heard me. The culture was different. They don't have to answer me. They don't have to acknowledge that I say good morning. The culture here in Canada is different. They don't have to say anything. I felt offended because it was a, it was a culture shock for me. And persons in the in the elevator was looking at me like, is she crazy or? I, I didn't know the different culture. I didn't know that I am not supposed to say good morning. I didn't know that it doesn't matter who is in the in the elevator. You don't have to say nothing. It. I didn't know that when you go to work, you don't have to say good morning to your colleagues. I didn't know these things. So it was a new learning process for me to say to to stop saying good morning to people that i meet on the road to people that i am in a car with to people who i'm on a trip with the people in the ch church and all the, it was a new learning experience for me not to say good morning and so i think that brings down my value the value that i place on people's life a little bit because i love people and i want to know that they are okay and so if i'm going to inquire about persons who might not be okay it's not culturally accepted from some culture jamaican fine they say hi anywhere they go and ask you if you're okay here it's a little bit different and so that's what happened when when you come into a different country and i can understand persons moving from a different country coming to a first world country not able to feel belong into any any group because people keep themselves um segregated isolated especially in the winter time especially when it's winter people just go to work go go buy their goods go back in and you don't see anyone so i can imagine this mean okay i am having a feedback I have enough to give you cannot give what you don't have. If you don't have a sense of belonging, you cannot, you cannot give give that. If you don't feel belong, you cannot allow other people to feel belong. If people ask you something, you're not going to want to share anything because you don't feel belong, so you don't know how to pass that on. If your mental health is inadequate, then people might not want to be with you. And I'm going to tell you this, people. I'm not going to lie to you. If, if I would rather be with someone who has a mental health diagnosis and is taking care of themselves, they are going to their therapy, they are having their medication, and they are functional in society, than being with someone who has mental health issues and pretend like they don't have an issue, do not want to fix that issue. Do not want to um, acknowledge that challenge and don't want to get help with those challenge. That's me and a whole. We're going to take another break and we'll come back right after.
Welcome, welcome back, everyone. I am Sarah and Brown, and I am blessed to wish you a few advice by my story. This is Mesa and Menta, and we have always not been back. We will try to provide the rules and strategies and strategies that we can do. You can turn up, 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 and get back to your norm. norm. Get back to your balance, 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 balance,
Impact Gospel Radio and Mental Health Horizon. All information posted or aired is merely for educational purposes and is not a substitute for seeking further professional advice. While the information aired has been verified to the best of our abilities, we cannot guarantee there are no mistakes or errors. We reserve the right to change this policy at any time. If you want to stay up to date with the latest mental health information, please visit our website at www.mentalhealthhorizon.com, book an appointment at info at mentalhealthhorizon.com, or tune into the broadcast every Monday evening at 6.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time.